Alright guys, well, it is another spectacularly evening in paradise. Here on the banks of the With the Coochie Wit River on this Monday evening. It is now March 25th, 2024, so all of the clueless morons have gotten their boats out of the way out of... <laughs> out of my gorgeous sunset that uh got eaten by this family of clueless fucking morons in their giant pontoon boat right at the height of sunset good fucking god i used to deal with that shit in st croix all the time with those goddamn cruise ships right when the sunset got there Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dealing with morons. Speaking of dealing with morons, you know, <laughs> I think the last time that I did a petty tyrant dealing with fucking asshole rants a few weeks ago, it was about some goddamn little bitch at a title company. Good fucking God, and I ran into another one of these... Uh, yeah, she, she gets the C word. Jesus fucking Christ. This nasty little bitch. And she hung up on me not once, but twice. Uh, so I, talk, I, I talked to this fucking little bitch. 10.30 this morning. At this very dock, right where I've been sitting. 10.30 this morning. That little bitch tells me, Sam, everything is fine all of your ducks are in a row. You're done. Uh, all I've got everything I fucking need. And the sellers are ready to sign off. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, so I, based on that, I call the goddamn seller. <clears throat> and I said, okay, I just talked to Taylor. And she assures me that everything... Uh, everything is there, uh, everything she needs is sitting there uh, down in title, and you guys can go in there and sign off and close this deal up, and then, oh, fine, we'll do that in about an hour. And then, like, 20 minutes later, the goddamn phone rings, and it's not Taylor from the title company. It, it, it's this buddy of mine who I'm buying this place with down here, and he's telling me, I just got a call from this little bitch, Taylor, down in the title company, looking for fucking $300. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about? I just got off the phone with that little bitch. And she said, everything is here. Uh, and, and of course, she didn't call me. He calls me. So he goes, you find out what the fuck is going on and there's nothing I can do about it from here. Uh, just do me a, just do whatever you need to do to uh, get that little bitch what she needs. And uh, so I call the, so I call her. She picked up the phone and I said, "Tell her." I said, "I'm sure you know what I'm calling about." And she said, "Yeah, you're calling about your uh, your, your buddy fucking up." the wire and, and, and I and I said I said well I'm calling about the wire but uh, I'm not sure who fucked up what I uh, I said what is going on and she tells me that that he came up short three hundred thirty three dollars and thirty three cents short and and I'm going listen you little bitch I I, I said he didn't just pull that fucking number out of his ass that he had to have gotten it from someone at this title company. And that is the first time uh, she hung up on me. So I call her back and she picks up again. And, 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 the, and, and the fucking little bitch goes, she, she goes, Sam, if you're going to be coming at me with this attitude, she goes, I'll hang up on you again. And, and, and I said, tell her, I, I, I said, uh, I said, just tell me what the hell it is you need from me. Uh, I, I, I said, I don't know what the fuck up here is. I, I, I said, all I know is that an hour ago you told me everything was done. Uh, 
uh, and, and, and then 20 minutes later, I call the goddamn seller, tell him everything is fucking done, he's ready to sign off, and then 20 minutes later, my buddy calls and, and says, you're holding out your hands for 300 more dollars. And, uh, you know, she basically told me, it's your fucking problem. She goes, it's not my fault. She, you know, it's not my fault. It's all your buddy's fault. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The fuck up is all from his end. Uh, I need $333.33 .33, uh, down here today. Uh, if you want to close this deal, have a nice day, Sam. Click. And uh, <laughs> so uh, off to the bank again to get the third fucking cashier's check for this deal. Another $15. And uh, found out what the fuck this was all about. Uh, it was not Taylor's fault, but of course it was another goddamn woman's fault there. The, this very nice, sweet woman. Uh, it, it, it was an understandable honest mistake, uh, you, you know, profusely uh, apologizing for this, that, uh, it, it, you know, anyway, m mistakes fucking happen, so uh, she's there profusely apologizing for uh, giving the wrong number uh, to my buddy, so I don't know if we're going to close tomorrow. Just hung up with the goddamn seller, and he said, "Well, he goes. Taylor told me at two o'clock that that I had to sign that I had to get some fucking thing notarized. That my wife and I had to notarize some fucking document that slipped through the cracks that she was supposed to send. And now it's seven fucking o'clock, and, and, and I've got no goddamn document to be notarized from her." Anyway, you know, it's just amazing how these how these fucking little bitches uh, can, can, can just eat your goddamn brain. Uh, you know, these goddamn snotty little bitches at fucking title companies. I mean, what the fuck it is is with their fucking attitude. Anyway, I'm going to have a lot of fun. Uh, lodging a complaint against her. I remember, I, I actually, uh, I remember in Austin uh, waiting for a check there where the, where the little bitch at the title company told me I had one minute to get out of her office before she called the fucking cops on me. <laughs> oh, God, you fuck these little bitches. Goddamn title companies. Uh, goddamn title companies, they're, they're a fucking pain in the ass. I don't know what the fuck they're supposed to do for you. Uh, all, all I know is these goddamn title companies have fucked up more deals uh, w w with me over the years, and I've never made, uh, obviously, I've never made a goddamn claim uh, against my title insurance. Good fucking luck uh, a a ever getting these fuckers to pay off a goddamn claim. Uh, Jesus. <clears throat> Thousand fucking dollars. One thousand fucking dollars that that uh, paid that fucking title company to ha to have this fucking little bitch and, and and her fucking attitude about how it's my problem. It's your buddy's fault and it's your problem. It has nothing to do with me, Sam. Fuck you, you little cunt. Anyway, I've got to wrap up this gorgeous sunset. Oh yeah, it's Monday night. Oh fuck. Speaking of speaking of little cunts, uh, it's time for my dump the trompty. Round up. I, you know, guys, I'm already having a hard time. Uh, I think I mentioned last week. It, it's tough to do this. Dump the Trumpy. I round up. Uh, I think I last. Did I last six weeks back in uh, 
four years ago. Uh, you know, after dealing with this nasty, toxic little bitch, and uh, all, all day dealing with all of it, her fucking bullshit, and, and now having to go look at that fat ass motherfucker's face. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Donald Trump just epitomizes uh, some little fucking title company bitch. They can all go fuck themselves. Uh, the life of a doomsday real estate agent in the state of Florida. You guys can't see this gator. There's no way I could point him out to you. There's a, a gator sneaking up on Sancho Panza. All right. I'm off for the dump, the trumpy hive roundup. What a way to fucking waste a beautiful Monday evening. Bye, guys.